Good morning all of you. We have finished chapter 5 types of animals and plants and I am sure this chapter is crystal clear to all of you. You can now answer the questions if asked in your exam. Today we will start a new chapter. Chapter 11 Simple Machines you must be using a number of things in your uh, house or in school to make your work easy. Since being human beings, we are busy with work all the time. But uh, if we are given some tools with the help of which that work becomes easier for us, we become very happy because we are able to finish that work in a very less time and also uh, the work gets becomes very easy and we are comfortable. As you can see in your book, this chapter begins with an activity. Turn to page number 98. You can see a picture of a truck and different options are there out of which you have to choose which one will be the best option to use to load heavy boxes onto the truck. You have a, a, you have a picture of stairs, you have a picture of a rope, you have a picture of a sloping plank and also you have a picture of a wood. If you have to lift the heavy boxes onto the uh, truck, what will be the best option out of these four options to use it to load heavy boxes onto the truck? Yes, the best option will be the wooden plank because if there are heavy boxes, you can just put them on uh, the lower edge of the wooden plank and then you can easily push it towards the truck and in this way all the boxes can be loaded to the truck in no time and the work also becomes easy. So option 3 will be the best option to load heavy boxes onto the truck. As you can see here, I have written uh, names of four tools that you must be using in your house or in school to make your work easy in some or the other way. A pair of scissors, knife, sharpener and scale. What do all these things do for you? They help you in some work to make it easy. If you have to cut a paper, you use a pair of scissors. If you have to cut a piece of cloth, you, you use a pair of scissors. For cutting vegetables, we use a knife. For uh, drawing a line in your page, you use a scale. And you use a sharpener to sharpen your pencil. With all these tools, you are able to do that particular work easily and in no time. So, such tools are called simple machines. As you know, machines make our work easy. Machines are used to make our work easy and also to finish the work in very less time. So, there are some machines that have very few parts or even uh, very few moving parts or even no moving parts at all and they make our work easy and we finish a particular work in very less time. So such types of machines are called simple machines. As you can see scissors. How many parts does it have? It has hardly two or three parts and uh, no, maximum one part must be making any movement. Uh, then uh, knife there is no movement in the knife. There is only one part. So, but it makes our work easy. So, this will also be called a simple machine. So, we categorize machines into two parts based on the uh, number of 
moving parts present in it and they are categorized into simple machines and complex machines when we talk about simple machines these simple machines have very few or no moving parts at all whereas when we talk about complex machines these complex machines have a number of moving parts and also they may have simple machines in them if we talk about simple machines the scissors knives sharpener scale all these will be called simple machines but when we talk about a washing machine it is big in size it has a number of moving parts and it also has a number of simple machines which work together to per perform a particular task so washing machine will be called a complex machine whereas the knife or scissors which do not have more parts and also uh, they do not have uh, much movement in their parts and they are small in size also they come under simple machines all of you now turn to page number 98 types of machines machines are of two types simple machines and complex machines the machines that consist of few or no moving parts are called simple machines now examples a bottle opener with the help of a bottle opener we can open the cap of cold drinks and jam bottles or um, sauce bottles a knife a rag and a wheel are simple machines whereas complex machines have many moving parts and examples bicycles lawn mowers mowers lawn mowers and vacuum cleaners in this chapter we'll be studying about simple machines now so what is the work of simple machine the simple machines make our work easy and helps us to do that particular work with less effort and less time it appears it appears that the work has become easy though it does not reduce the amount of work if we have to cut one apple and we are using a knife we will have to cut the whole apple it is not that uh, it will reduce our work but it makes our work easy however they do not reduce the amount of work we have to do to complete the job and there are six types of simple machines how many types of simple machines are present there are six types of simple machines they are the lever the inclined plane the pulley the wheel and axle the screw and the wedge so all these six parts belong to simple machines we will deal with each simple machine one by one every day in tomorrow's class we will discuss about the first simple machine that is the lever please go through the video once again and read the chapter till i have explained you i am sure now you have understood what are simple machines and what are the difference between the simple machines and complex machines thank you and have a nice day